Hey there, SOLIDWORKS ninjas. All right, so this video is a sneak peek of our new SOLIDWORKS 301 course, of course, where we're gonna take everything that you've learned in the robot series, the remote control series, and build on that using a uh, subwoofer series. Now, this is going to be a uh, heavily surface-based tutorial, but of course, using a master model technique that's gonna give us a lot of power and flexibility when putting together an, an entire assembly using mechanical components as well as design components. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, stay tuned, definitely head over to cadjunkie.com for full access to the entire library or just check out this series uh, directly. And uh, yeah, we'll see you, talk to you soon. Hey everybody, so today, as you know, we're going to be building a subwoofer. Here is the basic design sketched out in Photoshop. And really, I've just kind of thrown this out here really quickly. Now, this is going to be a surfacing exercise primarily. We're not going to be focusing on uh, iteration as we have in the past. We're not going to focus on mechanical details so much, maybe a little bit. But mainly, we're going to focus on building some beautiful, clean surfaces that can be used later on for adding mechanical detail and all that kind of stuff. Now this is a pretty fanciful design obviously, but I wanted to bring some level of realism to it. And so to do that, first of all, uh, we are gonna need this image. I'm gonna include this PNG image, transparent ping image for you. Another thing I'm gonna include is a, uh, a low opacity PNG as well, a nice, very, very transparent one that we can use in SOLIDWORKS and it's gonna look great. It's just gonna make life look really nice in SOLIDWORKS as we're working. Okay, the other thing you need to do, and you have to do this on your own. First of all, head over to GrabCAD, and if you don't use GrabCAD, I definitely recommend it. You should sign up and get a, uh, get a basic membership, at least so that you can download some of the free models that are out there, like this one. This is a very cool one. You just go up to the uh, search tab and type in SOLIDEX, that's S-O-L-I-D-E-X. Then down at the bottom, you'll see there is an 8-inch SOLIDEX subwoofer. That is what you see here. It's an incredibly detailed model. It is a lot of fun to work with. You can see uh, the cross section of it here. They have it all in there. Very, very cool model. We're going to open it up and look at it uh, in 3D later. Definitely download that. You'll end up with some SOLIDWORKS files that we can open. Also, head over to McMaster Car. McMaster, if you don't know, is a great place to order machine parts. They're not the cheapest place, but they do have everything in the world, and they have CAD files for all of it, which makes life really easy for us in particular. We want to go to the screws and bolts at the top. We're going to use some socket head cap screws, and we're going to use the standard black oxide alloy steel ones. And they only have inch sizes of these, but they do have a lot of different sizes and threads. Fret not. All you have to do is choose your thread size to start with, so we want a number 10 screw with 32 uh, threads per inch. That'll be a 1032 for us. And then we're going to choose, let's say, about a half inch screw. Let's find our half inch there. And here it finds us that one product, the black oxide alloy steel 1032 half inch. And if we click on the part number, then down below that, this little drop down has a CAD button. You click that, and all of a sudden, like magic, You've got the 3D SOLIDWORKS file as an option. You hit save, and now all of a sudden you have that saved out, and it's a really cool, very detailed model. In fact, if we open that up, it's got the threads and everything. Very, very cool stuff. So we're going to be using those two models uh, in this series as well as that image. I've gone ahead and put all of those into a single folder. So you can see I have my 8-inch subfolder here that has all of the assembly parts for that uh, subwoofer. We have my, uh, my cap screw, and we have those two images, as well as what's going to be our assembly. All right, let's jump in and get started. 